Welcome to another episode of Who's Who at Winnie Lark. My name is Jessica Hollister. Today we are joined by Mark Bielkowski. Um, Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, Mark, would you be able to tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do and your position title, please? Sure. So I'm a librarian at Duval College. I'm the technical services librarian here. So what I do in-house is, well, most importantly, probably is I make sure all the library's bills get paid. Uh, Got to keep the lights on, the books coming, and the database is ordered. Uh, I'm also in charge of cataloging metadata services for our library. And uh, I serve on the preservation committee for Winnie Excellent. Thank you for that. And uh, may I ask, what drew you to a career in librarianship or information science in general? So actually, my history with libraries goes back quite a ways. Mm. Um, Growing up, it was just my mom and I, and uh, we were on the poor side. And it was at a time when there were still door-to-door salesmen that came around trying to sell encyclopedia sets. Well, we could never afford an encyclopedia set. And so, well, my mom used to write me a bus pass to get dropped off at the Lackawanna Public Library. Oh my gosh. And so as a little kid, uh, I spent a lot of time in the Lackawanna Public Library. Uh, The library director there, his name was Sal at the time. I can still remember my first library director, if you will. And um, I, when we moved, I also spent a lot of time at the Blaisdell Public Library growing up. Mm -hmm. So just, I think by the fact of being involved in libraries and seeing how they could help folks like myself who didn't have a lot of resources at their, at their fingertips, Mm -hmm. um, really encouraged me to go forward. And after a while, I started volunteering in the library. I started working in the library as a page. And here I am all these years later as a, a full-fledged librarian. That, that's a wonderful story. Um, and may I ask, was there something about academic librarianship that interested you? Or were you interested in any kind of librarianship? So I really became fascinated uh, with the area of technical services. Mm. One of the things I used to do in the different public libraries where I've been and where I worked uh, was try to fix things that I thought seemed a little bit out of place or a little peculiarly placed. Like, hey, why is this graphic novel over here and Mm -hmm. not over there? Um, And of course, I made made perhaps some... uh, some people very angry when I weighed in uh, at, on the Big Mac battle, what they call the Big Mac battle, while I was working down at the Buffalo Neary County Public Central Library, where they used to index things in a certain way and shelve things in a certain way, putting in the, the missing articles, if you will, in Irish last names. And I went out and did some research and discovered indexers had changed those rules a long time ago. (laughs) So much to the chagrin of my supervisor, I brought to them evidence that we should no longer uh, substitute Mac and Mick and all those things. And we should just shelve them the way that the way that they are. And so I've, uh, I've always had a fascination with technical services and processes and indexing and all those fun librarian nerdy things. (laughs) I, I love that. I love that you um, not only wanted to work the field to be able to help people maybe like yourself growing up, but you also wanted to work the best way possible. You wanted to operate to the best of its ability. And I think that probably makes you a really excellent librarian. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. And um, maybe this is an opportunity for you. Uh, tell us something that your colleagues would be surprised to know about you. So my colleagues uh, out there in library land, not so much internally, would probably be surprised to know that I'm also uh, deeply religious. And I am in my final year of studies for the permanent diaconate for the Roman Catholic Diocese of Buffalo. And so wife and God willing, I will be ordained a permanent deacon and uh, will be assigned to a parish somewhere. Oh, wow. Congratulations. I didn't know that about you. Uh, thank you. 
do, do you find that your career in librarianship and your career, uh, if that's the right word in the Roman Catholic Church, do they, do they um, complement one another? Do you see crossover between the two things? For sure. Actually, at Duval, I'm in a unique position where I've been helping a lot with campus ministry. Mm. Uh, our campus minister um, retired, and they, they haven't had a chance to replace that person yet. So mm -hmm. I'm sort of doing double duty right now. But I, I was actually inspired. I, I was interested in the priesthood for a long time. I felt that I had a calling to the priesthood in the Roman Catholic tradition. And when I went to seminary, it was there that I discerned and discovered that I wasn't, or, I wasn't called to ordination as a priest. But something that I did encounter when I was in seminary were priests who were librarians. Mm. And I didn't, I may have been naive at the time, but I didn't think you could have two different, two career paths like that, you know? So uh, Father Gillette, who was the priest librarian up at the seminary in Ogdensburg was an inspiration for me. And Father Bonaventure, who was out of Christ the King Seminary, just this real old fantastic uh, priest who was also a librarian who had his MLS. He was a real inspiration to me. And that's when I thought to myself, you know, even if I go through and become a priest, I would still love to be a librarian. Mm -hmm. um, and after I discerned out of the seminary, it was terrific just to be, uh, just to, to follow that second vocation to become a librarian. You know, that second vocation that I had in mind of becoming a librarian. And so now where I find myself is I, I help the church with their libraries as well. Mm -hmm. When Christ the King Seminary closed, um, I worked with Deacon Tim Criswell to save about 8,000 volumes wow. and put together a library down at the, uh, the chancery office for the Catholic Diocese. So we, we saved as much as we could from the seminary library and rebuilt it. So that was a lot of fun. Well, congratulations. I'm so happy to hear that you have these two different life paths and life experience, but maybe they can unite into a single path. And uh, uh, I, I think that's wonderful that you can learn from both sides and both sides can inform one another. Yeah, for sure. I, you know, and it, it's just a gift really, you know, and yeah. I, I think God puts us in the right place at the right time sometimes. And, you know, I just happened to be really involved when Christ the King Seminary was closing. And, um, you know, of course, really important to ministry is getting good information out there. So yes, absolutely. Well, I think that leads into um, a, a perfect ending for our little interview here. Uh, this concludes our interview today. Um, so thank you very much, Mark, for joining us. And this has been Who's Who at Winnie Lark. Thank Thanks, you very Mark. much for having me. All right. Thanks. All right. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Members of Winnie Lark are able to utilize a number of programs and services, including archival and digital services, Ask Us 24-7 Chat Reference, Ask the Lawyer, Empire Library Delivery, Hospital Library Services, InfoPass, and a Professional Development please visit www.wnylrc.org to learn more.